Are you looking for the best ice cream makers? In this video, we will look at some of the 9 best ice cream makers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Ninja Creamy. Ultra versatile and extremely easy to use, the Ninja Creamy was a delight to use from the very beginning. Beyond ice cream alone, this appliance can make anything from milkshakes and smoothie bowls to gelato and sorbet. And it does so fuss-free, all it requires is the press of a program button on its one-touch interface to get your sweet treat started. The appliance itself is unique from other ice cream makers in that there are no compressor pumps or bulky bowls to freeze, just a motor base with digital control panel, a paddle, pint containers, and an outer bowl for processing. All you have to do is freeze your liquid base in one of the provided pint containers ahead of time, and you can always opt for extra pint containers to make ice cream prep easy. Plus, smoothie bowls, milkshakes, and soft-serve recipes don't require pre-freezing at all. We found that this machine performs well in transforming everything from canned pineapple chunks to frozen berries into creamy desserts, making eating more fruit an easy feat. There's also a mix-in function that allows you to personalize your ice cream with toppings like candy, nuts, or chocolate chips. Even cleanup with the creamy is a delight, since the bowls, lids, and paddle are all dishwasher safe. The one downside, this machine is pretty noisy. So if you're trying to secretly whip up a dessert without your housemates knowing, get ready to share. But if you're already used to appliances like blenders and food processors making noise in your house, you shouldn't have an issue with the creamy. Number 2. Cuisinart IC21 1.5 Quart. Easy to use, reasonably priced, and small enough to live on the counter during the summer, the Cuisinart IC21 can create a smooth batch of classic vanilla ice cream as well as a well-mixed rocky road. The simple design, a single switch to turn on and off, plus an open top to facilitate pouring in chocolate chips and scooping out taste tests, meant that we could focus on flavors and fixings. Also, the low price may have already inspired our tester to buy one for her sister's birthday. The cherry on top of this fudge sundae is that the Cuisinart IC21 was the quickest product we tested, minus freezing the canister. In about 20 minutes, I went from having a sugar and cream mixture to a bowl of ice cream. To be fair, there are downsides, it only makes 1.5 quarts of ice cream, just enough for four smallish servings, we admit, we overfilled it once, but luckily the design saved us from creating much of a mess. Also, you have to freeze the canister overnight before you can make a batch of ice cream. The canister is full of refrigerant, which is what chills the ice cream, and takes about 12 hours to freeze. This just means that you need a bit of forethought before indulging. That said, many recipes suggest ice cream based chill overnight in the fridge for the best flavor, so I didn't find a night of pre-planning to be much of a downside. Ultimately, we would aim to stash the canister in a corner of the freezer during the summer, to use whenever you want ice cream or frozen yogurt in less than 30 minutes. Number 3. Cuisinart Cool Creations IC 72 Quart. The Cuisinart IC 70 was a close runner-up to the IC 21. It had a similarly easy-to-use design, with a few added features such as a countdown timer and separate buttons for ice cream, gelato, and sorbet. However, the ice cream, even using the different modes, wasn't noticeably better than the other Cuisinart model, and the larger canister struggled to find an easy home in the freezer. For the significantly higher price, we wanted significantly better ice cream or a significantly better ice cream making experience than the IC21. Number 4. KitchenAid Kaika 0WH Ice Cream Maker Attachment. If you're researching ice cream makers but already have a KitchenAid stand mixer, this KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment is an excellent choice. Intuitive to assemble, it makes great ice cream and stores away easily in your cabinet, not including the full stand mixer, of course. The ice cream did almost creep out of the bowl while churning, but the smart rim design of the freezing bowl kept everything contained. The only real issue with this ice cream maker is that if you don't already have a KitchenAid, the total cost would be far more than most others on this list. Number 5. Winter ICM 201 SB 2.1 Quart Upright. The winter made our single favorite batch of this testing series. It was objectively the best ice cream our tester had ever eaten. It tasted like the love child of whipped cream and vanilla gelato, quite high praise. Despite this batch of godly nectar, the winter was otherwise disappointing. 
The paddles stopped moving after we added the mix-ins for the rocky road, and we gave up on the berry froyo after an hour and half of mixing produced nothing thicker than a smoothie. Even the favorite vanilla took an hour to make, which is longer than we really want to wait for ice cream, though we would wait for this one, particularly since the winter is another maker that doesn't require pre-freezing the canister. Number 6. Cuisinart Pure Indulgence ICE 30BC. Cuisinart has many options when it comes to ice cream makers. While this one is solid, it didn't perform quite as well as the Cuisinart ICE 21 ice cream maker. Despite being easy to use, with a great pour-in opening to add mix and mix-ins, it made loud noises while churning the ice cream. We were nervous during each batch, as it sounded like the motor was about to die. Fortunately, it lasted and the ice cream was good, but we could do without the added stress. Number 7. Cuisinart ICE 100. Alongside its freezer bowl models, Cuisinart also has a compressor model that boasts impressive results. While more expensive than the other Cuisinart models, it has a much lower MSRP than similar compressor models. It makes a good, if soft, ice cream, though it takes a while to firm up. We loved not having to pre-plan for ice cream, you'll never have an oh-shoot moment where you realize you didn't put the bowl in the freezer far enough in advance, and we enjoyed being able to eat the results immediately. That said, the keep cool function led to slightly inconsistent ice cream texture. And the berry froyo mix exploded out of the bowl and over the sides leading to a difficult cleanup. There are a lot of little crevices to clean on this model and it can't be tossed in the sink to soak. Number 8. Hamilton Beach 68330N 4 Quart Automatic. Much like the Nostalgia, the Hamilton Beach requires a substantial amount of ice, salt, and counter space in order to make dessert. But unlike the nostalgia, you cannot see the results as you're making them, so there's a lot of timing guesswork or taking things apart to check as you go. Once again, the ice cream results were fine but not fantastic. By the end, we realized we'd rather spend a little more money to avoid the hassle of ice and salt and a longer wait for ice cream. Number 9. Amazon Basics 1.5 Quart Automatic Homemade Ice Cream Maker. We do not recommend this ice cream maker. In fact, we would advise that you avoid it. It's priced cheaply with a performance to match. The motor stopped working well before the ice cream was done on two of the tests and failed to churn the ice cream after mix-ins were added on the third. This left us with gloopy, inedible ice cream batter, which we were, fortunately, able to toss into the Cuisinart compressor model to finish up. On top of that, this model was hard to neatly pour ice cream batter into and a pain to clean. The way it's designed, the opening for pouring in ice cream is small and awkwardly situated, and the motor is able to get messy and must be cleaned by hand. Overall, it feels cheap, ill-thought-out, and never truly finished making a bowl of ice cream.